Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I'm going to be showcasing my mansion house uh, in Fallout 4. Uh, you can see it right here, uh, and then also we've got these spotlights rolling behind, so at night, you know, you can come out and play some basketball. Also set up here the uh, baseball statue, as well as home plate there. I don't really have enough room to set up, um, like, all four bases, but... Uh, I thought that was kind of cool over here in the corner because I don't have anything over there. Because over here is kind of like the, uh, like somewhere you can eat and sit out and, uh, you can watch, uh, some guys play basketball. Um, and then you got the cooking station here. It's most, it's supposed to be kind of like a bonfire-ish type thing out here that's like making food and stuff for all these people. As well as some picnic tables out here. You got these two generators back here controlling these three, uh, spotlights. Kind of ridiculous that you need. I could have just put a big one, but the math didn't work out right, because I believe it does five power, and I need six, so it made more sense to put the two small ones down. You will see with this house, there are a lot of generators. You can see two big ones already right here on the outside. Um, we've got the TVs here, kind of, if you want to be watching else. Uh, this is supposed to be kind of like the scoreboard for, uh, for the uh, basketball game. Uh, obviously, it's for coolants but that's the design of it uh, and then over here you'll see we've got two more generators uh, most of the wiring is kind of hidden um, you can't really see a lot of the wiring on this house uh, which is what I plan uh, I got the two wind turbines up there and the sirens for um, just aesthetic purposes we'll see um, if I keep those but in here is my power armor uh, docking bay I guess um, I can always there is room for expansion. Uh, the more power armors I get, I can line up a whole nother row looking exactly like that right here. And then exactly the same thing on the other side. I can also put them on the ends. There's still plenty of room for power armor because I know I'm going to be getting a lot more power armor. But um, this is just the power armor for now. The one thing that annoys me about this is this one right here. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's off the ground. And it's because of that thing back there. There's nothing I can do. And it looks stupid if you don't have it there. So I'm kind of stuck with that look. Also, you can see back here for some reason I have glitch stuff floating in the air for whatever reason. Uh, right here is where I'm keeping all of my extra uh, weapons and stuff like that. Uh, in this little ice cooler back here. This is all my special weapons and all of that stuff because... Right up here is my weapon and armor crafting stations, or workbenches. Um, this is a chemistry station, but I thought it looked good down here. It looked good with the uh, armor uh, over here. And then you've got all my armor uh, mods right there. And then over here you have all of my weapon mods, which I have a ton of weapon mods. Uh, and so that's where all of that stuff is. There are two different weapons workbenches, and I think they both look pretty good right here. Um, I can always get rid of one to compensate if I have to place another row of power armor, which I'm assuming I will. I put dog meat's uh, doghouse down here, as well as all of the clothing and stuff for dog meat. Uh, currently, I only have that stuff because I, I lost a bunch of bandanas I had for him, but you can see he has one on now. Here's his dog bowl. I think I'm going to put some bags of cement and uh, fertilizer just so it kind of looks like dog food stacked up here behind uh, his house. I haven't done a lot of the the more complex and in-depth uh, uh, aesthetics and uh, what's it called? Um, furnishing of the house. Uh, it's kind of... It is furnished uh, completely with all the chairs and stuff. It's just not furnished with all of the um, small details. But you can see, I kind of like it. His his house, you can see him right through the front door. Um, I'm not putting a door there. Um, as well as I put these two lion statues. I kind of like it. They look pretty cool. As well as, um, I don't know, it's just something cool to have there. You can see I have a bunch more power generators back here. There are two large ones and two small ones that are back here. You can see the wiring gets a little crazy back here, but that's all right. I thought about walling that off, but I just haven't yet. Um, I'm not sure if I will or not. Come around here, there's a power pylon, and here is another generator. Uh, there's just a lot of generators. I wanted to make sure I had enough power. I don't know if I have too many or if I have pretty much just enough, uh, but... It doesn't really matter. Um, 
And then we come up here, we'll go to this side first. This is kind of just like a seating area, a large seating area. Uh, it bother. I'm not OCD, but this does bother my OCD. I can't get them to line up evenly on both sides. Uh, it looks pretty good, though, if you don't, like, sit here and stare at it for a minute. Um, but this is kind of just like a, a family seating area, friends, you know, uh, just a talking area. Because I do have, like, TV areas and whatnot, but this is just kind of a talking area. Uh, and then right here is kind of just a desk. Um, I'll probably put, like, a typewriter and something like that on there, but that's just kind of a small uh, small desk. Lighting in this is ridiculous. It's just annoying, and it's super difficult. That's why I have all of these, like, industrial lights everywhere, because they're the best for lighting stuff up. These things literally light up just a circle, like a super small circle. Uh, and then over here, um, since they're missing refrigerators in this game, um, I'm using the Nuka-Cola and the milk vending machine. Um as kind of to simulate that right here is kind of like a coffee like the comfortable coffee table this is kind of where you can eat your breakfast and comfort and whatnot uh, and then here's like the big dining room uh area uh and uh put three tables together it doesn't look great but there isn't a giant table like a huge table around this size so this is about how you have to do it uh, i put three cooking stoves here uh it's a little big but i kind of like the look of it uh, right here is a cabinet storing all my produce and stuff. Uh, Edatronic, I just thought it looked good there. Shelves. Um, and then I put the chemistry station here because it's got like a sink and whatnot. Uh, it looks like crap, uh, but it, it does work because it has the sink. And I kind of like it. Um, I wish they had like a nicer looking chemistry station um, that kind of fit like that. Uh, but they don't. Um, I need to move this trash can over because it looks stupid butted up right next to it. There we go. Uh, and then I have two cabinets here. Nothing's storing in them. Um, they're just there for aesthetic purposes. And another lamp. Um, I definitely went heavy on the paintings. I think they added a little bit more to the house, um, just putting paintings into it. Uh, also, some flags here, uh, which I think look really nice. I do like the look of that. Uh, right here is the bathroom. Um... It's pretty simple just simply because you don't have um, a sink and you don't have some of the other stuff that you could have in a bathroom. Um, there's not like a mirror or anything. There's nothing really. So it's just the bathtub and the toilet. Um, and I don't like how the doors look in this, so it's just open. Um, just pretty much imagine that there was a door there. Over here um, is pool room, uh, you got pool tables, you got kind of an area to sit uh, while it's not your turn. I've got some Brahmin skulls up there, why not? Radio and a jukebox. Uh, here are all my different pool things in these two foot lockers. I don't know if I want to set all the balls out. Um, I'd love to have like two complete sets though, so I could put like a foot locker on the actual pool table and have the full set in there, kind of simulating, because stuff will fall through the floors. Or it will just straight up disappear in this game if it's not actually, like, something that is meant to be decor. Like, it's it's not... Let's see here, what am I trying to say? It'll fall through and it'll disappear if it's not a technical decoration. Like, this stuff is just junk. It's not technically a decoration. Um, and then right here is kind of like a bar area uh, with some stools on the other side here. Uh, for you can sit and watch that or, uh, you know, have a drink or whatnot. And then here's my gaming area. These are supposed to be, like, simulating, like, uh, PCs, uh, PC gaming over here. And then here's, like, the console gaming right here uh, with, the, with the TVs. Uh, this is just kind of a relaxing area where you can watch uh, TV. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of just there. So, you know, if you're taking turns uh, playing... Uh, on one of these, you can come over here and sit and watch something or whatnot. Uh, and then right here is kind of cool. I do like this. Um, it's kind of just another seating area with, with no TV. It's just kind of a relaxed area back here. It actually looks pretty good. Um, I was, I did have them butted up together, but then I decided I wanted to put this coffee table, and I think it looks better this way uh, than it did before. Uh, so that's floor two. Uh, on the floor three, so you've got these kind of black uh, couches in the corners. You've got kind of like, um, let's see here, like tables over here for you to eat and whatnot. This is kind of like a, not a casino floor, it's kind of like a, not a club. I don't really know what to call it, but this is kind of like a bar. Um, 
there's not really anything that's good to close this, so it's just like opening the bartenders here, divvying out stuff and whatnot. Um, and then this is where else you can go. Over here is more seating. I thought this looked pretty good uh, with these things back to back. Uh, and then right here is supposed to be kind of like, um, you know, you could play like poker here or blackjack or whatever card games or table games you want to play. Um, and the, the dealer can get back get back there. Um, you can't actually, you got to actually move these to get back here. But um, that's kind of like just the premise, the idea, since it really doesn't matter because it's not like you can actually play poker there. Um, and then this is kind of cool. I actually got this to work out if you walk down here. Um, you can walk right up into it, and it's really nice. It actually worked out really well, as you can see. You can look at these. They look really nice into the ground. They don't look stupid. Um, there is kind of this little gap, but that's fine. And then over here is a stairway down. Uh, you can get out to the Commonwealth. Here is a... Uh, this is a flamethrower trap. It's not active. It was just there for aesthetic purposes, kind of guarding the back door uh, into the into the house and you can see all the wiring over here and there's another generator right there uh, there's also another generator um, over here right here um, and their simple purposes are to power these two heavy laser turrets as well as i have these machine gun turrets um, most of these are just here for aesthetic aesthetic purposes they're not really here for defense they're just there for aesthetics um, i'm not sure what i want to do with this or if i just want to leave it blank um, because, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of room out here, but it does look kind of awkward that there's just nothing out here. I might put some plants in the corner and maybe, um, some benches lining, uh, this back area here. Um, but that's, uh, I don't know. I will be bringing another video of this once I get it completed, but I'm taking a long break from building this house because I literally spent like the past three days working on this. Uh, and so it's kind of crazy. Uh, and then this is the final floor. This is the bedroom. Um, I did, uh, kind of a red themed up here. Like the lights are all the red. Uh, right here is kind of like a, I don't know, base operations with the three TVs looking kind of like three different monitors. I kind of like that look. Over here you've got, this is where I'm keeping, oh no, these are just kind of empty. They're just kind of there. Here are my bobbleheads. I got five right now. Uh, this is kind of all my uh, drugs and all the food that I'm not going to eat right now, uh, like the death claw steaks and all that different stuff. I'm just holding on to that stuff for whatever reason. Uh, in here, in this cabinet, is all the clothes uh, that I think look good on my character that I would be willing to wear. Uh, so that's all over here, and then over here is all the clothes I'm just collecting, uh, just I don't know why. Uh, but it's just a bunch of clothes over here. Some of it's like unique stuff like the jumpsuits and some of it's just stuff that I kind of, I don't know, think is cool or whatnot. Here are all my, what the heck? Never seen this before. Okay, so I don't know what this means, like why it did this, but you can actually, I can actually show it right now. You can actually display all these magazines in the magazine rack. I don't know why they all fell out. Hopefully I didn't, like, lose one through the floor, because that would be horrible. Uh, but you just go into miscellaneous, and you just find, um, the, the, the magazines, and you can just throw them straight in. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool feature that I'm really happy that they put in. Okay. Where are all my magazines? Hot Rodder. Kind of, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're actually, some of them don't look like they would be, um, they would be magazines kind of in this preview screen, but they are. Okay, can't, can't do the books. Uh, where is it? Taboo tattoos. Okay, the operational, really? It can't hold anymore? Huh, okay, that means some fell off of this one. I hate this hate when things don't work like they're supposed to. And all the way to the bottom, Wasteland Survival, and the Operations Manuals. Okay, so there's that. I really do love that you can display your magazines. Maybe I have them too close. Let's go ahead and move them apart here uh, a little bit more. Maybe I have them too close. They do look pretty close together. I wish Piper would get it. Piper, get out of the way. Piper, 
Get out of the way. I can't move my... Move! Pi really, Piper? Really? What are you doing? Get out of the way. Oh my gosh, I can't get it in the place that I want it because she's standing there. Move. Thank you. Just want them even with the light. Okay, move that one over a little bit. Okay. Um, and then we've got like the bed here. We've got some foot lockers. As you can see in the foot lockers is all kind of the stuff I want to display. Uh, there's some stuff in this one as well as this one. Uh, just a bunch of different junk that I want to display in the house. Um, add kind of an aesthetic look to it. Uh, that's just kind of the goal. You can see I've got a ton of stuff staved up. Uh, and then right here is a safe. Uh, with kind of the, I don't know, the special stuff I'm just holding on to. I'm not selling, I'm not using or anything. It's just all of that stuff. Um, I want to put like a lamp here. You got the rad stag thing there. Uh, uh, heads, trophy, there we go. Um, and then you've got a fan there. I don't know why the fan's not working. I don't know why the fans stop working sometimes and they work other times. Um, here's a crib, kind of like Sean's crib. I wish you could store that one in Sanctuary and then place it somewhere else, but it looks exactly the same as this, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then this is kind of like a seating, watching TV type of thing right there. Um, and then let's go up top. I'll have to place a ladder because it's not really supposed to. You're, I'm not, I didn't design it for you to go up there, but I'll go up there just to show it in the video. Okay, snap on. The, okay, don't snap on. That's fine. There we go. All right, so if I head up here, there's more wiring, uh, as you can see. You don't really notice any of these wires up here, uh, but the point is is to utilize these. I put them up here as more of aesthetic reasons than power reasons. Um, I just thought they looked cool with the sirens up here, and so... I was it you can run the reason is because I could just run all of the lines up here and you can't see them because you can't get up here uh, and then I ran them down the side as more power um, I'm pretty sure I have way more than enough power but always always good to be safe uh, instead of sorry um, I did use a glitch to be able to build a mansion this big um, I, uh, I will show it in another video, but the premise is, is you just put weapons in the workbench, then take them out, and then drop them, and then go into, um, go into, uh, building mode, crafting mode, and then go ahead and, uh, store them in, in back in the workshop. It, I'll show it in a video, but that's just the premise of it. Um, but I really love this mansion, um, because of glitch. If I didn't use the glitch, I think, I think each floor... Uh, was like the max like this bottom floor down there not including what's out here I think that almost filled it all the way up and then the second floor I know for sure did because I have all that furniture and then maybe like the third and fourth floor the roof and out here took up two more uh, but this is like the building size times three or four or five um, of what it should be um, it's really hard to light up this big area. That's why I'm really thinking about um, just putting up the other rows of power armor um, just straight up because it is so difficult. If you can see, these are here more for aesthetics than they are for anything else because they don't light up anything. Like, the lights in this game are horrible. It's like, uh, it's, co it's comparable to when Minecraft first came out and it was ridiculously stupid looking to light a house. Um, it's kind of like that. It is so hard. These are mostly here for aesthetics, but they're also here to light up kind of the fronts of the power armors because if I go ahead and take these away, I'll show you. Yeah, you can see there that they get darker. Uh, it does provide a little light, but you can see how dark they would be um, if I didn't have these here, and then it would just look stupid because you couldn't tell what power armors they were. Um, but you know, um, that's kind of the one complaint I have about crafting is lighting, and I have these high-tech lights that you get from the picket fences. Um, I'm trying to show kind of the power armors that I've got um, and the different paint jobs and stuff like that, but um, the picket fence, I thought these lights would be a whole lot better because you found a magazine. No, they're just really more aesthetically pleasing than the ones that you start with, um, but that that's all right. I guess that's you know, you know what? I love Fallout. It's a great game. You know what? I can deal with the little quirk that the lighting is super hard to do. Uh, you really just need to use these uh, because let me see here if I can show you. 
me take one of these off the wall. Like, okay, you can't really tell because I have the whole... I, could, I need to take off, like, ten of them to show the real effect that those have. Um... But that is going to do it for my mansion. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I really love this. Um, I hope when they patch this glitch, it doesn't, like, figure out, oh, you have more crap in this area than you're supposed to. Let me just delete half of it. Um, I'm really hoping uh, they just let you have whatever size base you built, and it's on them for letting a glitch like this slip through. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know about your guys' houses. Let me know if you guys have any cool ones or any cool mansions or what you've done if you already knew how to do this glitch. Uh, we'll be bringing it later. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.